Hello Nuggets. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. All right. We're back. What a transfer season we've had. So we're in the Vanarama National League. Very excited about it. Um, we are, I believe, 350 to 1 outsiders. Media prediction is like 23rd or something. Uh, you are not going to recognize the team. There have been a lot of changes. So let's take you through the transfers. A lot of changes. Okay, these are all new. <laughs> right. Okay, so let's start at the top. This, I think, is our best signing. Uh, Jake Scrimshaw, he's been playing well in the friendlies. I'll show you the results of those afterwards. Um, but look, oh, this UI also allows you to show stars or numbers, which I've been using a lot. Uh, I'll leave it on stars because everyone's familiar with that. So the goal of this transfer season was obviously to improve the team, but it was also to get rid of the core issues that we had with so many of our players, which was inconsistency and dreading big matches. Because you can maybe have one or two players like that and they get supported by the team. But when you have three or four players on the pitch, you just never know what you're going to get. So we have almost completely eliminated that, which I think is a really good sign. I think we might do surprisingly well this season. Famous last words. I think we're an amazing side this year, but we'll see, right? So this is our new striker. Um, very good all-rounder. Um, he's been playing well. Four appearances, four goals already and we've played some good teams in the friendlies I know they're only friendlies but uh, he can play as a target man as well because we have another striker we've been playing 4-4-2 and 4-2-3-1 I got rid of the 4-1-4-1 uh, DM wide um, I didn't feel we needed it we might change that later on but right now we're playing actually 4-2-4 it's not 4-4-2 4-2-4 we're going attacking because we've got a good attacking unit and we have some great midfielders so here's our new striker really like him look at this aggression anticipation He's got great long shots, which he's been using. Good finishing. His first touch isn't great, but his penalty taking is great. Um, good teamwork, good uh, work rate, excellent physicals. Not the fastest. He's fast, but he's not... I mean, we've got a defender now who's faster than him. Uh, but look at his cons, look at his pros. Consistency is a pro. It's fantastic. So I'm very happy about this guy. I think he's going to do some remarkable work. Jake Scrimshaw. Okay, next we have, uh, uh, this, he was free, by the way, from Bournemouth. Next we have another free, James Rowe. Excellent. He's our box-to-box, -box and uh, he's doing the business. <laughs> he's fantastic. Again, he's very consistent. He's, he does have inconsistency here, but this is one of the exceptions I made because I think this guy is fantastic. Um, great corners, great crossing. I mean, look at this. Everything is good. Free kick taking. So he's replacing Ashley Carrow. We still have Ashley Carrow, but he's getting old, man. And, you know, he's just not... He, he's one of the worst players in the team now. I don't think he is, but star rating he is. Uh, overall, very well-rounded player. Um, he's box-to-box, -box, so he's not the playmaker. His vision's too low for that. But he's got good passing. And I have seen him so many times, he just goes and picks up the ball. In games, the highlight is him winning the ball passing it to the playmaker, and then getting it forward. I mean, it's he's great. So I think this guy could be player of the season for us. Um, really like him. Okay, next up we have Liam Bellamy, who's our other midfielder. This guy we did pay for, 2.3K. He is fantastic. So he's also a ball-winning midfielder. I mean, basically, they don't get through their midfield right now. Uh, and we're playing f League One sides, and they can't get through us. So that's why I'm hopeful. Consistency is his pro and it's green, which means he's very consistent, which is excellent. His negatives are all pretty minor. He um, doesn't match the general. He thinks he's a leader. What's this one? One-dimensional running. I mean, honestly, I'm not seeing any of that. He's not fast, but he's got great stamina, great strength, um, and he basically stays in one area of the pitch, picks up the ball, and passes it out. Great determination, which I love to have. <clears throat> good bravery, good teamwork, good work rate. Look at that, 16 work rate. Um, the fans apparently were upset. They didn't think we got a good deal with this guy. And yet, he's the you know he's our best midfielder. Um, he's fantastic. Really liking this guy. Got a really good feeling about him as well. Uh, next, we've got Boris Kipea. We paid 250 quid for him. <laughs> and he's fantastic. He's our right back. We, I told you, the team's changed a lot. Um, he doesn't like big matches. Which isn't the best thing in the world, but he's got a lot of pros, and I've been playing him. Honestly, I think he's really good. I mean, he's hardly put a foot wrong. He's got good physicals. 
again, another well-rounded player, good heading, um, playing him as win back. Um, and every time we put him on, he does the business. Look, he's 707 already. He's got an assist already. Um, really good young, 25 years old, not too young, actually. He's older than I thought. We're only paying him £230 a week. I mean, our overall budget, I'm going to quickly jump to that to show you that. We were given 11,000. We're spending 8,650, which is only a thousand more than we were last season. And we have an extra 11 players in the squad. So we've reduced wages across the board. We do have a couple of players who are still making like 500 a week, uh, but they're now worth that because they're Vanarama national. They're, they're better than our previous ones. Uh, but overall, we've reduced wages dramatically. So we're really doing well financially. This guy is fantastic. He's a great right back. <clears throat> He's playing really well so far. Ijiro Okisiemi. Hmm, what are we going to call him? Oko. How can I change his name? Hang on. Development contract. Set nickname. He's just going to become Oko. Uh, great central defender. Look at his heading. So again, Magnus OK, who's still with us and is still our captain. He's getting on a bit. Uh, he's got amazing jumping reach. Amazing heading. Marking, I mean, again, 24 years old. We're only paying 150 per week for him. Um, he's fantastic. He's really good. So very excited about him. Uh, I'm going to stop, shut the dogs up, and then I'll come back. Uh, yeah, really good uh, central defender. Decent passing. I don't think he's quite a ball-playing defender. Uh, he's not good enough for that, but overall very good. Nice, tall. He's a unit. Yeah. Decent acceleration. I mean, he's not the fastest, but he's, he's pretty good for a centre-back. And uh, he's playing well. £150 per week. So cheap. Okay, who else we got? Next, we have George McLennan, who's our left-back. And this guy's doing the business too. And he has he doesn't like big matches. I'm just starting to notice these. I'm wondering if these didn't show up <laughs> after what I said. But he is consistent, which is really good. Uh, and it's only orange, it's not the red, so I'm hoping that's okay. Um, so he's left back, he's been really good. He's actually made a couple of mistakes. So I wonder if he can be error prone. I'm not sure if any of these are current ability, can be wayward with his passing. That might be the one, that might be what's causing it. A couple of mistakes, but outside of the mistakes, he's an absolute beast. He's fantastic at everything he does. His pace is great. His fitness is great. Because we're playing wing backs, you want him to be able to cross and dribble. It's not massive, but but it's pretty good. You know, it's okay. It, we can get with that. He's got the long throw. If we need him to throw it to the opposition, which is what seems to happen. Good technique. Good work rate. Good determination again. Again, overall, he fits the bill for everything. Apart from this, it, it does bug me that I didn't see that before. Because I paid specific attention. So it is possible that's been discovered since he got here. Our scouts just didn't pick it up. Okay, so we got our whole back line's looking stronger, our midfield's looking stronger. Uh, now look at this one. <laughs> New central defender, and he is a ball-playing defender. In the Vanarama National League, that is astonishing. Again, you know what? This inconsistency, this stuff came up after I bought them. It was not in their scout report. That's annoying. Um, but look at this. Oh, look at his pace. 16 acceleration. He's a little slower, 13, but 16 acceleration. Natural fitness. These physicals are fantastic. His strength could be a little bit bigger, considering he's a centre-back. But And his heading's not off the charts, but he's a passer. He passes the ball, and we're actually playing him as a ball-playing defender. Uh, he's playing really well. He's only 19 years old. We are paying a little bit more for him. Um, so far, he's been worth it. I mean, he's amazing on the pitch. He's really, really good. Um... 7.13 rating in the three uh, friendlies he's played. I've been rotating the squad a little bit. Um, we have basically 11 first-team players, and everyone else is backup. I know in the long run that doesn't make dif a difference. People get pissed off. Your players get pissed off either way. Uh, but, um, yeah, Roberto Naditi. Naditi himself. Jaden Anthony. Very surprising that we managed to get this guy uh, from Bournemouth for 2K, right, give or take. Um, again, no consistency. Look, he's got no issues. This one didn't show anything up. Uh, this guy can play striker or on the winger, and I'm playing him mostly on the wing uh, because we have a good striking unit, as I'll show you. But good acceleration, decent pace, good stamina, good natural fitness. Determination's a little low. 
But yeah, he was a bit of a coup. He's, he's a good player, good work rate. Um, uh, anticipation and aggression is good. Overall, he's very good. I like this guy. Uh, he's playing well so far. Um, I don't know if I'd have paid 475 for him. He's okay, though. We're under budget, so we can afford it. But I don't know if he's that much better than Clunas and not that much better than another player that I'm going to show you in a minute. But still, he's good. I mean, uh, unfortunately, I signed him as first team because that's the only way to get him. I couldn't get him as a rotational backup. So, Jaden Anthony, good player, though. Good player. The press were all over it when we got him. So, Henry Cowns, free transfer, only paying him £170 a week, and he's better. <laughs> he's really good. Like, this is, a, this is what you call well-rounded. Look at this. Everything is all green. You know, not too many blues. Um, but overall, I really like it. He's a good passer of the ball. We're also playing him out on the wing. Um, so him and Anthony can switch out. We have a lot of wingers, actually. Most of them are right wingers, and we're playing some of them as in, inside forwards. Uh, he's listed as backup, but 23 years old, 170 pound per week. Just overall, very, very well-rounded, good player. Sorry about my dogs. Uh, okay, we've got a loan in. So we only have two loans this season. So we've got Ducati Sheriff. Um, he's pretty good. We got him from Colchester. Um, he's consistent. That was the main reason I got him. But he does have some injuries, which is a little worrying. Um, they don't look that bad, but the scouts picked it up and I missed it. I missed their report. Uh, but he's done well so far. He tends to put it in the back of the net. His finishing's great. I mean, this is a really good striker for where we're at. Good teamwork. Here's the thing. We have four players who can play striker now. And two of them can also swap out for the wings, which is why we have this great system, which is why I'm really confident for it. And actually, three of them can swap out for the wings. I've just noticed he can play in the wings as well. But we've been playing him as a poacher or an advance forward. Um, he's good. Look at that. Three appearances, two goals, one assist. And he's put them in and when I show you who we played in the friendlies you know um, yeah he's looking really good I like this guy a lot uh, but he's only on loan if he works out maybe we'll try and get him in full time Andre Wright I think I wouldn't have bought he is very good but I don't really have enough room for him I don't really have a place for him um, again another right winger we are playing him as an inside forward so it's him and Anthony Cook we've still got Cookie um, he's 400 pounds a week uh, I got him up as rotation, so we're going to have to give him a lot of go, uh, games. He's already started complaining, which is worrying. Like, who is it? We got uh, we got another winger, and he came to me, so I'm worried if I lost my place in the team. So I told him he needed to train better because his training isn't very good. Uh, he said, okay, I'll get right on it. And then his training was worse. So I don't know. I don't know. This guy may not work out. But um, overall, very good. Again, good acceleration, good pace. Um, his natural fitness has gone down which is annoying. Um, overall, not bad. I think I bought him before I bought anyone else because I was worried we couldn't find a right winger and then a ton of them came in at the end. Um, so yeah, he's okay. Got a goal when he came on and an assist. But that's a common for our players. They're getting a lot of goals. All right. This guy's amazing. <laughs> this guy, I don't know. His physicals don't match how good I think he is. Two appearances, four goals. He can play anywhere up front I'm playing him inside forward at the moment uh, his dribbling's good his finishing good his first touch is okay penalty taking's okay technique is okay great determination um, work rate teamwork etc I mean overall this guy's just fantastic he's absolutely fantastic his pros are amazing um, I don't know what his number is what's his number 104 which is pretty damn good yeah, this guy's really doing the business. He's worth the 450 a week. We've got him for two years, which is good. Actually, three years. Is that three? Well, yeah, three years. Um, so I think even if we don't, we'll be able to sell him on. He's currently valued at 62K. I don't know how we got him. How did we get him for free? I think we picked him up. Um, does it say who we got it from? I, I think it was a uh, first team player. Hang on, let's have a look. Where was he? Brentford. He's been Fred Brentford. And the news report said he didn't make the breakthrough at Brentford. Well, he didn't play. He didn't play him once. He's really good. This guy's fantastic. And then last week, we have another loanee, uh, Jordan Adebayo-Smith, uh, who might be better than Dakari Sheriff. Uh, really good. Uh, all round, very good. Free kick taking, penalty taking, uh, natural fitness, strength, determination. A lot of blues in here. Really good. And he's also doing great. There's going to be a lot of fighting. He's from Lincoln City. There's going to be a lot of fighting. He's only 18 years old. And he's free because he's a loney. 
So very excited about him as well. Um, perhaps the most important thing is we've got another staff member. So they allowed us an extra coach, which is good. And now my favourite signing of the season has got to be... Where is it? Uh, the director of football. Luther Blissett. Remember him? <laughs> Luther Blissett is our director of football. He's not that great. He's okay. But I just had to get him because it's Luther Blissett. Director of football, he knows Jamaica as well. And actually, that's really what you want. Director of football, I think you want as much reach and knowledge as you can. He's, he's good at it. He's okay. Good adaptability, good level of discipline. And from all of the director of footballs I've been offered up to Luther Blissett, they were all terrible compared to him. So comparatively, he's superb. But it's also, it's Luther Blissett. Got to have him. Uh, so we increased the coaching. We got rid of Tamba. Um, if you look at our overall staff, I mean, look at this. We have the best scouting in the league. We have the best phys uh, physicians in the league. Um, physio, physicians, physio. And overall, our coaching is almost there, not quite. I want to see if they'll, they've been really good, the board. I asked to go professional. Of course, they said no. Um, way too early for that anyway. But I asked for a new coach role and they said, yep, no problem. Um, they're doing pretty good. They've really helped. They're sending out people on courses. I'm out on another course, coaching course. So, yeah, I've got a good relationship with the board. There are a couple of things I would... I'm not crazy about the coaching team. Um, the ones that I think are really good, I managed to get for a two-year stint. Uh, actually, it's just... Oh, it's some of the um, the uh, scouts that I got in two years. Uh, Brendan Burke has come back. Andy Franks... Uh, it's not bad. He's pretty good. I mean, the fitness, mental, and working with youngsters are fantastic. But he's not very good on the attacking and defending and the uh, tactical and technical. So the problem that the problem with our staff is that a lot of them are good at doing the same thing. I didn't really think that one through as well. Uh, let me show you the training, coaches, and then the coach assignments. So the problem is I do everything. I like to lighten the workload. The problem is like this guy is good at possession technical. This guy is good at quickness. This guy is good at possession technical. This guy is good at possession technical. <laughs> See what I mean? So you really want to spread that out a little bit more. And I haven't quite figured out exactly how to do it. But overall, we got some very, very good training. So I'm very happy about that. Uh, then we changed a couple of other things out in the staff. Nothing too important. I think we changed our under 18s coach because we got rid of Carlos. Uh, let me show you the rest of the squad. It's a long one. Sorry. Um, so who's still with us Block Jorgensen is on 450 a week because we signed him up before um, but for example let's find one of our old players let's take uh, Ashley Caro is now on 150 per week Preston Edwards is on 150 Magnus OK is on 170 Nathan Green is on 150 Dominic Vos is on 170 I mean all of these guys were all 500 450 500 here's a tip in case you're wondering how you do it. The way you get them to reduce, because when you go to re to resign the contract, they're going to ask for 25, 50, 100, whatever, more than last year, right? Sign a new player in their position. And it doesn't have to be a great player. Just sign a new player and then go back to them. And they will take almost anything because they think they're out of the squad. It's just so brutal, I know. But look at Cookie. Cookie held on till the last minute. He's like, no, I want 675. And then I brought in, uh, was it Jaden Anthony? Jaden Anthony, I think it was, I brought in. And Cook says, all right, I'll take 170. <laughs> so here's the thing. With what he wanted, I've got two players. So I've got Cook and I've got this new fantastic winger. So it's definitely the way to go. So we are still paying a few of them. Like, who's our highest paid right now? Right now, it's Jake Scrimshaw who's earning it in, up front. McLennan, who's really good, as I said, but he does make mistakes. But when he's good, he's amazing. Liam Bellamy, who's just fantastic getting the ball every time. Uh, Naditi, who's fantastic. So I, I think these are all very much worth it. Tactics. This is our 4 2 4. Uh, and this currently. No, this is not our number one layout. Our number one layout, because uh, where's Scrimshaw? Scrimshaw's not on there. I like putting Scrimshaw in here. The problem is, Scrimshaw, I don't think, is as good as the other ones. Uh, but I want Adebayo in instead of uh, Sheriff. Um, I mean, this is a this is a great side. We can we can bring in Cookie when we need to. We can bring in Caro. I've given them a couple of games. Uh, even gave Preston a run out, uh, and he actually did really well. Like he's, he's he played well, I think. Um, okay, you know what? Let me show you who we play. 
So, we beat Gloucester 3-0. We actually hammered them. Um, we lost to Shrewsbury 3-1. But I don't think we did. <laughs> I think we beat them. The problem is we got a man sent off. But at the point he got sent off, we were all over them. And this is a League One team. We were all over them. Um, we were playing really well. And then we got a man sent off. And it just kind of put us down in the hole. Um, so, in the end, we weren't doing great. But... I don't know. I mean, look at this. We were, this is the beginning of the match. I know it's turned around after we got ten, down to 10 men at 38 minutes. But we went ahead. We were knocking chances left, right and centre. We were playing really well. And then one man sent off. The whole thing fell apart. You know. Uh, we played Oxford City. We drew 1-1 with Oxford City. Um, again, Oxford City. Are they League One? I don't know where they are. Uh, we, we deserve to win, as you can see. We trounced them. Three clear-cut chances, 24 shots, 15 on target. We just unluckily, unfortunately, we couldn't put it away. Um, and actually, I think Sheriff got injured. Was it that match or a different match? One of our strikers got injured, which is why I loaned in another striker, Adebayo. Um, who where are Oxford City? Oh, no, they're below us. Oh, well, we should, we should have beaten them. No, forget that anyway. <laughs> Rotherham, 3-2. Where are Rotherham? Rotherham are in League One. We beat them again. Played well. I mean, they got a little bit more than us, but, you know, we were deadly. Deadly. What can I say? We were deadly in front of goal. So we beat Rotherham, division above, two divisions above us. Then we played the Fulham under-23s, 1-1, and Fulham under twenty three should have hammered us. But we gave them a run. I mean, look at this. They got a few more than us, but, you know, we gave them a real run for their money. And it, we just feel good. We feel strong um, overall. So... Really good preseason. First match against Boreham Wood, and remember we're three hundred and fifty to one outsiders, so they're predicted to be fifteenth. I'm fully expecting us to expecting it to say that we're the underdog for every match. Um, and let's see, are we actually ready to play this one yet? No, we're pretty close. So I just I've got a feeling that this season the confidence is very high in the team. So what might happen is that we might come out guns blazing and win like five matches on the trot or something crazy like that and then fall off it is possible that we'll get our ass handed to us on the first game of the season and realize and then instantly hit a morale hit but i don't know i think we're pretty damn good are we at the top of the transfer list because we did a lot we did way more than anyone else um all right boreham wood come on come on come on i'll bring you back in a sec all right, we're at match time. I actually forgot to uh, update you on Luke Block. I'm having a sandwich over here, by the way. Sorry about that. Um, this kid's really good, man. I'm worried about bringing him forward, but, I mean, he could, he's our best striker. But he's 16 years old. I've got him on a pre-contract. He agreed to sign a pre-contract for like £100 a week or something. Um, he's so good. I want to play him. But I don't know. I mean, I've had, I've had a, a, not a wonder kid, but a really good kid player before in a different save. And you're just trying to hang on to them. You know, I've set a million pound price tag on his head, but you're just hanging on. If they want to go, they're going to go. You know, it doesn't matter if you're doing great. If you're moving up to League Two, your promotion, your team's good. If they want to go, they're going to go. And so, I don't know. People have already noticed him. I think someone might want him. Uh... Someone already shown an interest. Where is he? Luke Block wanted. Charlton and Stanley want him. So I put a one million price tag on him. And he's training with the big boys now. Uh, so is uh, Nayon Saba. He's also training with the big boys. Um, every under 23s match, this man here gets told that he's played an amazing game. But I want to get rid of him. He's annoying me. Because every single game, he's not good enough. But every single game, it's like, oh, he was Amazing. Best player on the pitch. It's annoying. Get annoying. Um, we have a big squad. I just noticed how many we have. This is this is our first team squad. Twenty eight people was a lot. That's a lot. Some of these, I mean, look, Ashley, we could get rid of. I just felt guilty. Anyway, all right, let's play the game. Uh, this is our lineup. So. We only have two players from the old squad on here. I've just realised that. Block, Jorgensen and Chambers. Uh, all of these are first team players. I could bring Depot on. He's barely got a game, poor Depot. He's not as good. 
He's not as good. What are you going to do? I think we're going to play this. So we've got Johnson on the wing. Uh, Jaden Anthony on the other wing. Scrimshaw up front. Uh, the Loney, Adebayo Smith. we got Bellamy playing a ball-winning midfielder. Rowe is the box-to-box. I like this too. These two, I've got a really good thing. Kipea, who's a fantastic wing-back. McLennan, the other wing-back. Then we've got Chambers. We've got the new guy, Naditi, who's the ball-playing defender. And Block Jorgensen at the back as a... I can't want to say shadow keeper. Sweeper keeper. Uh, we're playing at 4-2-4. Four, four. Pretty much a standard tactic. You've seen it before. Hit early crosses. I think I could probably take that off now, couldn't I? No, it's been working. I'll leave it. I'll take it off if I need to. High line. Uh, distribute to the fullbacks. That's it. Uh, oh, I thought we were ready to play. Oh, we pretty much are. Okay, first game of the season. I'm excited. They're playing a 5-2-1-2 wing back the hell is that okay how's the bench looking we got Magnus okay on the bench as our defender would I rather have Oki I made him the captain I shouldn't have done that uh, what's BPR oh I upped their bonuses he's happy uh, Liam Morris playing uh, can he play either side no he can only play one okay we got rid of Ming Ming the Merciless is gone um, Henry Cowens Uh, Anthony Cook, Dominic Vose. Vosey's been playing really well. By the way, he's suddenly... I think he felt the pressure, and he's like, oh, shit, I better start playing well. So he's been really good. Anyone down here I feel I could bring on? Because we don't have a striker. Okay, let's get rid of Cowens. We're going to put... Let's bring on Dakari. Let's put on the Sheriff. Uh, do I want Vose? I want okay yeah yep that's how we're gonna start all right so we got Magnus on the back Liam for the way for the fullback uh, cookie on the wing Vose is covering the midfield Dakari Sheriff for the strikers all right got a good feeling about this season good feeling I tried researching what the hell these all these icons mean and I don't know Niditi's currently the captain because okay's off the pitch, I guess. Team talk. Assertive. Give the fan their money's worth. No, okay. Well, we got to go back to this. There are. It's a whole new team. They haven't heard this before. They don't know. They don't know that Daddy says this every time. All right. Boreham Wood at home. We're at home. We are at home. Good crowd expected today. Good start, one on target. Oh, I love having a ball, a box-to-box -box midfielder. It's just, oh, it's so good. So good, they cover everything. Oh, come on, block. Yes, absolutely. That was so clearly offside. See, I mean, as good as Block was last year, and I still think he's he's going to be good in this. I don't think he can make League Two. He's not. He just doesn't have any other game other than his his aerial, his dominance, you know. And he, he's okay at shot blocking, but not amazing. I mean, do something here. Let's get creative. Who's nervous? Kipeo was nervous. Come on, don't let me down, lads. I've been talking you up a storm. We have plenty of subs. We do. We have we have backup at every position now. Hmm. All right, pinch it, nick it, nick it. Go on, Anthony. Go on, Scrimshaw. Yes, good goal. That's what I like about Scrimshaw. It's not that he scores amazing goals. It's the consistency. He just seems to put them in. Uh, Cameron Peters was up for sale. We tried to buy him, but they wanted 725000 for him. But... Even Peters wasn't doing that. Peters was missing those last year, unless he was on a good run. Scrimshaw, at least so far, has just seemed to be putting them in every single time. Put him in that position, and he knocks it in. So, very exciting. 1-0. Oh, Alright, let's get another. Edebayo, knocking it forward out to Johnson. Or Johansson. To Kipei. I've got to change his name to Johansson. Sticks it in 2-0. Oh. 
Really? Alright. Just. VAR is VAR. Okay, good. Good first half. Happy your performance so far. Keep it up. Okay. Anyone not looking good? Adebayo. The DT champ. It's going to take a while to remember all these new players. It's Johansson, not Jonsson. Johansson. Okay, Rowe. Knocks it in. In the DT. Oh! Oh, what a beautiful little header. He just glanced at him. Should have gone in. Deserve more. Anthony. Oh. Should be 2 0 up. And what have we got? Seven shots on target. They've had five, though. One half chance. This is a pretty even game, actually. They've, um, they've played pretty well. I think we should think about taking someone off. And Bellamy's not having a great game. Ooh, the fans were right. Let's bring Vosey on, shall we? See if he can do. Although he is the BWM. That's fine. That's fine. Play you in, playing you Mazzala attack. Uh, anyone else? Chambers is not doing great. Let's bring on Magnus for Chambers. Got captain on the pitch. And let's leave Sheriff for the end. I might switch him out for Adebayo. Yeah. Might give it a little bit longer. Let's see. I never quite know what to shout to the team when they're 1-0 up. Get creative seems pointless. I mean, they are getting creative. Encourage pisses them up. Fuck it, I'll try it. Oh. No. Shouts. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Row. What a ball. Oh. What the hell was wrong with that? Two disallowed goals. There's been three disallowed goals in this game. Shouldn't really be getting caught offside from a free kick at a bio. Not good. He might have just sealed your uh, deal there. No, he's good. I'm keeping him on. <laughs> he got into the position. It was just a mistake. I hope they concentrate. Yeah, we got this match, man. We're, we're playing better than them. Two half chances. Rowe. Short corner to Anthony. Rowe knocking it in. At the bio with a little glancing header straight into the keeper's hands. Oh, easy. You've got time. Clennon. Don't let them back in. They have not earned it. God damn it. They have not earned that. At all. Well, the goal of this season is to stay up, obviously, and strengthen the squad. Um, maybe reduce the squad a little bit as well. We have a lot of players on. <laughs> Look, we all played well. Played well. Those... Came on and didn't do much. That's his inconsistency showing. But the, the aim of this season is just to get a good squad working together, getting the little lines, the connections, so they get used to playing with each other, and then next season, go up. Scrimshaw out to McLennan. Can we score a late one here? Scrimshaw again. Out to Row. Oh, they get out from behind. What the hell? Go on, get it. Pinch one. We've earned it. Go on, Scrimshaw. Vosey, Vosey. Ah. Oh. All right, none of that, boys. None of that. All right. Start with the draw. Could be worse. Hmm. No, I think we should have won. Appreciate the reference. Yeah, all right. All right. I think we should be setting the standard higher, Brendan. Okay, no injuries. Let me check. Everyone else is playing in the under 23s. Dulwich Hamlet denied by a late goal. Yeah, we were. Scrimshaw played great. League's off. All right, lads. That's it. Season is off and running. Very excited about this. I really feel we've got a good team. Really good team. I wish we'd won that match, but this is a great squad. Look at the abilities we've got. Henrik Johansson and Bayer. We've got amazing strikers. We're going to be putting the ball in the back of the net, no doubt. I think our biggest issue might be the wings. Even though we've got good wingers, I don't know where. I think our biggest issue is that we can't have 12 players on the pitch. It might be the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper might be the one thing that we need to consider upgrading. Yeah. 
I'll, maybe I'll put the uh, scouts on that do a focus on a goalkeeper because I don't know is he good enough Blocky he's still up there isn't he anyway going to be a very exciting season let's see what's our schedule uh, I'll, I'll bring you back we're, we're going to play Stockport you're going to see the first few games see how we get on uh, so at least throw, probably now to Dover we'll play and then we'll see where we're at uh, that's it All right you little nuggets Vanarama National League. Let's do this.